India has struck China and struck hard. Amidst the ongoing military standoff between India and China at the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh, Prime Minister Modi has carried out a digital strike against the dragon. In a move that shows India's intent to hit where it hurts the most, the Modi government has banned 59 Chinese apps. China has thus been edged out of India's growing and high-value app market. New Delhi has thus conveyed to Beijing that it has a diversity of options to hurt China in retaliation to the military buildup along the LAC. The Indian government has banned these apps, saying that they are engaged in activities that are, and I quote, prejudicial to the sovereignty and integrity of India, defense of India, and the security of state and public order. This is the first big move that India has taken to harm China's economic interests. India is using its massive market to punish China for border aggression. Some of the biggest apps, including TikTok, ShareIt, UC Browser, and Cam Scanner, have been thrown out. India has a demographic advantage to go along with 800 million smartphone users, half of whom are below 25 years of age and hungry for mobile apps. The Chinese apps themselves were making millions of dollars in India, which has some of the lowest internet usage costs across the world. In fact, India was one of the biggest markets for some of these Chinese apps. TikTok itself is currently the most downloaded app in India with over a whopping 120 million active users. In fact, 30% of this video sharing social media app's downloads came from India. Though India's share of revenue to TikTok was lower than that of China and the US, it is India where the app was supposed to grow into a giant. The Chinese app TikTok was supporting 15 Indian languages because it was seeking penetration into India's hinterlands, an ambition that has been thwarted by PM Modi's bold digital strike. Last year, when TikTok was banned temporarily, ByteDance, which owns the app, had disclosed in a court filing that it was losing out on half a million dollars every day. TikTok alone is going to lose out on millions of dollars due to this ban. And this is all because TikTok, like all other apps, bore allegiance to the Communist Party of China. ShareIt is even more popular than TikTok in India. It is the third most active app in the country after WhatsApp and Facebook with more than 400 million downloads. But Prime Minister Modi has suddenly demonetized this app. Cam Scanner and UC Browser are also going to lose out massively with this retaliatory measure. With a 13% market share in India, UC Browser was the second most popular browser in India next to only Google Chrome. Ever since military tensions started escalating between India and China, there were boycott calls within India. But Beijing lived in the illusion that India cannot insulate its market from Chinese influence. The CCP mouthpiece and Chinese foreign ministry's propaganda tabloid Global Times even warned of punishment if India boycotted Chinese products or removed Chinese apps. But China has clearly been caught napping. Had India banned physical Chinese goods, Beijing could have moved the World Trade Organization by citing national security concerns for banning these Chinese apps. India has punished China for border aggression and this is going to sting. Meanwhile, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Chao Lishan has said, China is strongly concerned and we are verifying the situation. Of course, China is concerned because the ban on Chinese apps can easily escalate into a voluntary boycott of Chinese goods in India. The Confederation of All India Traders has said that the ban will be a big support to the boycott Chinese goods campaign. The apex body of traders' union has already decided to boycott Chinese goods worth more than 1 lakh crore rupees, that is $13 billion approximately, by December 2021. It has even prepared a list of 3,000 items for which good indigenous alternatives are available. Before China awakens to the reality of changing Sino-India relations, it might have already paid dearly for crossing the dangerous red line in eastern Ladakh. India's move is also going to have geopolitical repercussions. 
Officially, this is not a defense move, but a national security move that India has taken. There are already apprehensions of private Chinese companies owing allegiance to the Chinese Communist Party. They face allegations of snooping for the CCP regime. Piles of Indian data are entering Chinese servers which are not immune to exposure to the Chinese government. The CCP is suspected to use it for spying and controlling the Indian market, the Indian consumer and for furthering a political agenda which is detrimental to peace and harmony in India. Moreover, this Indian data is fueling China's tech giants, driving massive net profits without China actually reciprocating as it never gave free access to Indian vendors in the Chinese market. Prime Minister Modi's move to ban Chinese apps thus creates a strong precedent for more national bans in democratic countries like the US, the UK, Australia and Taiwan.